Hi, I'm uh, Neil John Campbell. I'm the head chef uh, of Rovi Restaurant uh, by Ottolinghi. We're based in Fitzrovia, central London. Uh, we're a veg fire grilling focused restaurant. Feels amazing to be here and uh, to be able to showcase some of the talents that I have and what I've gained and experienced through the years. And I think it's very important to give back to the generations coming up through the ranks. Um, when I was younger and coming up through the ranks, I think I learned the hard way, maybe the old fashioned way, uh, which was uh, lots of shouting and he just had to really look and observe. Training probably wasn't as great. Um, been a head chef now for six years and nurturing and looking after people is super important because you get a lot back from them. The industry definitely for, for the eating and the guest side, I think people want to will want to come out and experience, you know, fantastic food. Uh, the atmospheres, how, how, we, how we create them in restaurants. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's going to be a positive. I'm hoping it's a positive. The veg focused or the vegetarian or even vegan, I think that's going to boom a lot more. Uh, and I also think working conditions, um, which has been changing for a few years, but I think uh, that is a big point. I I've noticed in definitely my kitchen, because we, we stopped and did two bubbles during the COVID. Um, where we had set days off and you work set days and it, the chef seemed to love that and I think it's great too, you, you get a bit more time off, you know exactly what days you're working um, so I think the you get more responsive chefs from that so I think uh, working conditions in terms of hours and, and rotas um, and vegetable focus being more sustainable um, has been happening for years, but now I think it's, it's, it's definitely really, really kicking off. Because some of the techniques and the way that we can build flavour in vegetables is just becoming, you know, more apparent. There's, there's a lot more um, knowledge for it, you know. So, uh, yeah. One wastage, you know, I, I feel there's a very little waste if you think about the veg and how you're using it and what parts how they can be used in a technique and there's very little waste and I think that also for me knowing a little bit about farming it's very small um, is also growing veg takes up a bit less space you know you don't need to have two fields one to grow the corn to feed the beef and then the beef to grow um, so you you can actually get a lot from one bit of ground in terms of growing veg so um, I think it, yeah it's very important and I think with chefs who are cooking more with veg, you're going to get better dishes, better menus, and I think you, you won't want to just eat a burger, you know? That's why I think what something Roby is about, you know, we've got a Solera shawarma, um, which you can eat, for me, every day, and it will beat most burgers out there. So I think the, the cooking will get so advanced, and the, w the way we can build flavour in veg will be as good as having a steak or a burger. So. My boss Yota actually is a huge inspiration. He's done some very clever things and uh, does put some pairings of interesting flavours together. So uh, yeah, the boss Yota is, is uh, a big inspiration. Uh, recently taken up doing a lot of gardening, so I'm really connected with, with, with the vegetable. So I'm growing, you know, a whole selection of herbs, flowers, veg, beans, tomatoes, and you kind of get to appreciate the. The, the, the time it takes to grow something um, and the more naturalism of it so you can appreciate just a tomato with some simple olive oil and uh, some salt um, so sometimes just stripping things back and really appreciating good quality product um, is where I get inspiration from um, and also creating interesting textures you know I, I love to uh, you know, anyone can roast a carrot or anyone can just blanch a carrot, but when you make it really unique and interesting with uh, applying different cooking techniques, I think that, that excites me, you know, something different.
Every restaurant will be different and um, it's not always right for every chef. It's just the way it works. Um, you have to really want to work there. You have to really want to you know, enjoy the food. The job's so hard, if you don't, it will eat you up. So you just need to find a, a certain restaurant, a certain chef, a certain cuisine that you love. Uh, it'll be really hard for a long time, but as long as you have it in your heart, and you, you will cook from there and you'll be able to go on and on and uh, you'll just become a, a great chef.